all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as it the hot you don't share my people uh information reaching on my table now is that uh southeast monarchs bribe hessmen to grace in their communities ipob reports and uh, the indigenous people of biavra under the umbrella of ipob they report this one <laughs> uh now my people me myself i did surprise uh, when i came across this particular information uh, i feel like uh, running mad but meanwhile uh, let's go down to the full detail of this information so that we'll be able to know what is actually happening in our land and what is going on the indigenous people of biafra ipob has alleged that some traditional rulers in the southeast collect money from fulani headsmen in order to allow them grace in their community spokesperson of the group ima powerful in a statement yesterday warned the traditional rulers involved seriously to disease or face their rot while reminding them of the consequences of allowing the headsmen to graze in their communities powerful emphasized that no traditional rule involved will be left unpunished the statement reads in part ipob esn operatives are issuing a warning to those compromised traditional rulers across biafra land to be very careful to know that this singular action of the of ds can automatically become detrimental because IPOB ESN doesn't play when it comes to the issue of Fulani terrorists masquerading as headsmen operating in the land. More so, IPOB ESN is giving directive to the traditional rulers and community leaders that IPOB ESN will not tolerate any traditional ruler or community leaders in Aligbo conniving with Fulani terrorists nicknamed headsmen who misuse women kidnap and kill people in the community fulani terrorist nicknamed as headsmen testify that they paid traditional rulers and leaders before they entered any community and stayed up three three four or five months ipob esn will not spare any traditional ruler or community leader who is involved in this kind of criminal activities and we are aware that some state governors are involved in the dirty deal as well. Do not be surprised that IPOB ESN operatives will never allow them to succeed. Uh, this one is coming from uh, the IPOB ESN. Uh, this information, uh, I was really touched about it. I don't know how true this thing is, but um, if if things have gotten to this point, uh, I think um. I think that it means that things uh, are getting out of hand. As it be, Palava don't happen for the NIG government to I hear say about three presidential presidential jets has been seized. <laughs> they say Chinese company replies federal government gives update on seized presidential jet. Let's go down to that information. Zanzuan, the Chinese company at the center of a dispute with the Nigerian government over the seizure of three presidential jets, has responded to claims made by the federal government. In a statement, Zanzuan said it is, it is ready to settle with the Nigerian government and has been waiting for an indication that the government is willing to negotiate. The company's statement comes after a French court authorized the seizure of the three presidential jets linked to the federal government of Nigeria. The court order prohibits the jet movement sale or purchase on Zanzan received payment of $74.5 million awarded to the company. Zanzan said it has only even sought to assert its right under the international law and is confident in its case. Zanzan has only ever sought to assert its right under international law and is confident in its case. The independent arbitral panel was found unanimously in its favor and courts in multiple countries have upheld the view that the panel compensation should be enforced. The French court was fully aware of the fact when it reached its decision. 
far from being just a fence, the Ogun Free Trade Zone was featured as an as a significant international investment by the Economics Intelligence Unit. Zan has as long for a long time been ready to enter serious negotiations with the federal government of Nigeria to settle this case and still awaits an indication that the government is equally willing, the statement said. <laughs> oh, say, Taylor, uh, my people, this one, uh, the NIT government, this one, they happen to, uh, they say, they don't they seize government jet because see, government they owe on other people. You don't they say as they happen. <laughs> Charlie boy, Charlie boy, your mumu never too much. Your mumu never too much, Charlie boy. Your mumu never too much. Make <laughs> uh, they play. Uh, one day for this country, a uh, person fit wake up. Uh, they say uh, they don't say the country. Uh, Say make everybody they pack up for their house. Say maybe they sell them to uh, Germany or they sell them to China. Uh, you go see say what thing go to happen. They say they go tell you, oh my brother, uh, this house where they live, uh, government don't sell them to us. So, uh, so you have to pack out and start becoming our slave. <laughs> oh my home, oh my home, oh my home. When shall I see my home? Oh, 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 when shall I see my native land? I will never forget my home. Oh, my home. Oh, my home. When shall I see my home? Oh, oh, oh when shall I see my native land? I will never forget my home. I see the bee. Eh, na, 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 home, home. Uh, we go to fight to to Amana now because uh, things don't change. I see the beef for Niger now, 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 now. Petrol price don't hit one thousand naira. I got a quick See I'm for your scream there. Petrol price don't hit one thousand naira. Wele mu boenge, wele mu boenge. Um. You can use your hand and judge for yourself. Uh, don't say that it's me that said it. Uh, that I have said it again. Uh, use your hand and judge whether this government day for us. Uh, I be they no day for us. I be they just day for themselves. They chop all the money. Meanwhile, recently they said the president purchased a, a Escalade luxurious car worth about. Uh, 900 million dollars or something like that and the masses are hungry and another thing i was saying the time of um president buari he bought a uh, maybach mercedes uh, for his presidential convoy and the I, I, the issue i'm using is um these cars that they are buying is it only for is it that the president that is there, if he's moving out, uh, he will he will leave it or he will carry it to his home. Is it not a government property? Because I believe that, as it is, that that car uh, should be a government property whereby if this particular government is moving out, uh, they will leave it for another government that is coming in. But as it is, from what I'm seeing, I think now uh, somehow it has become personal property that when one, after using go, uh, government property, uh, when they are moving out, uh, they will still carry it and another president will come and buy his own. Una mumu never too much. As it be, Imo State Police Command has paraded 23 years old Elijah Chigemezu who specializes in snatching phones from unsuspecting victims at gunpoint. Also arrests arrested we are 27 years old John Chukudi, a native of Nto and Ngobala local government area, and one Chibes Ties 32 who was arrested at Naze. In a release from the police public relations officer ASP Henry Okoye, he said that the arrest of the suspects were affected by the operatives of Nekede Divisional Headquarters through intelligence-led operation and painstaking investigation. He also stated that the operation 
that led to the arrest of the suspect is a confirmation of the command's resolve and unalloyed determination to bring crimes to its minimum point in the state. One of the suspects, John Chuko, the M27 years old, a native of Ntun Ngopala. Meanwhile, uh, my people, there is another thing I want to put them out here. Uh, the way police are harassing youth uh, in the southeast uh, these days, uh, there is a report we got from Owere uh, that, you know, these people called, uh, what is their name, Tiger Bees, uh, they usually catch people. Uh, when they catch you, especially young people, uh, they will tell you to open your phone. Uh, from there, uh, they will not bill you. Is either you pay one million, two hundred thousand, hundred thousand, hundred, uh, three hundred thousand, fifty thousand to bail yourself. Uh, some of them will even put allegation on your head uh, that um, since you don't want to pay, you will hear it. I I will say please, uh, government, can they look into the people you are employing as police officers? Can they look into the people you are employing as a, as police officers? Can they look into the people you are employing as police officers? I believe that uh, before one is employed as a police officer, there should be a proper training, a psychological training, a background check of this person's character right from uh, a, a secondary school to the university level. Or if the person has not gone to the university, at least his character in secondary school, this will be able to prove what this person will be able to become uh, if you know the kind of person this person is, you'll be able to know where to fix this person and where not to fix the person. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if you're first time of joining us here, kindly go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for listening. God bless you.